Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time we got here to this Satoral Swamp and I s basically, I ended the last episode not actually here, I was at the other, by Colony 6, so I told you I'd meet you back here and so here we are back at Satoral Swamp at the No Pond Camp and we're going to finish exploring this area, well I won't say finish because I have no freaking clue how long this place was going to take me to explore, but one thing I can promise is that we're going to explore it thoroughly because that's my new prerogative. Explore like a motherfucker. Now, last episode I also got a few quests from the No Ponds. And one of them was to kill some of these detox frogs. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do some of that. Oh, oh, oh. Another thing I should mention is if you look at my party, it's complete sausage fest now. I put Dunban in. And I took Charlotte out. I figured if all I'm going to do is walk around and fight random monsters, I might as well have three attackers in. Charlotte's good if I need to heal, but if you're just walking around, that's the basic... Pre, uh, pre, the basic prerequisites, that's what I look for, the basic prerequisites to, for you to want to not have a healer around. If you're just going to fight random monsters as you walk around, you can just use your three attackers. It makes battles go by much smoother if you take care of battles in, in that way. Now, Aqua Nebula. Now, I remember if I want to kill these things, you got to use the type of art that they're weak to, but which type of art is the blue one weak to? How do I know which color is weak, like the weakness? Is the pink one? Is it not the pink one? Is it the red one? Is it... I don't even know. I really don't. I, I'm, I'm just completely trying to guess how... What is he going to do? Is he going to kick my ass? Elemental bullet on Rhyme? 400? Oh, that's not going to... That's that's not a worry. I'm just gonna enchant enchant my weapons. I don't know why. I really don't. Should I use a chain attack? Let's do it. Chain attack. Might as well. Uh, let's try to break him and topple him. I don't really know if that's gonna accomplish anything. But to be honest, I don't know what else to do. I need to learn which arts hurt which colors. I'm still not. 100% on how that works. And I didn't even do the same colors. I kind of ruined it. I forgot I have Dunban now, and Dunban has a whole new set of abilities where I can do a real chain attack. One that actually accomplishes something. Anyway, if I can win this against this ether thing, this will be my first ether... Or whatever, Aqua, Nebula. This will be my first Nebula enemy I can kill. Or I've been able to kill. This is actually turning into a not worth it. I'm not even done halfway. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. This is a waste of time. I give up. What? Wait. Oh, he's gonna attack me as I'm running away? What a bitch. Okay, so my new uh, tidbit of information I would love to know is a good strategy for fighting these nebula enemies. At some point, I can't just run away. I have to know how to defeat them. Like, they can't be hard. The thing is, I'm doing the wrong kind of arts on them. So, am I supposed to just literally use the correct color art on them? Or is it a certain type of art that I'm supposed to use on them? Um, anybody who'd care to ex kind of elaborate on how that works exactly in a nice, easy to understand manner, let me know, please. And it looks like inside this treasure chest, we're going to get a new item that we need for a quest. White brog livers. Alright, so we got to get three white brog livers. We got one already. So I'm going to have to kill more brogs than the quest requires, but that's okay. Brogs are already on my list to kill, on my kill list anyways. For now, I'm just going to keep exploring until I've checked every far corner of this area. I would very much like to not miss anything. And this place doesn't seem quite as grand as the plains were. The plains were so grand... It took me a long time to check every corner of that place. This place, nowhere nowhere near as large seeming. At least not in terms of having to walk hella far to get from one place to the next. But I could be wrong on that. I've only just begun exploring this place. I mean, I can't, it's hard to, it's, it sh I shouldn't be so presumptuous on it thinking that places are smaller and then they're all freaking huger than I thought. Like even that ether mines was pretty goddamn big overall. Finished that quest for the no pond, wanted me to kill some brogs, so we're done with that. 
We still need to get a couple more things for the quest later. I don't think Acid Upas is one of the things I need to kill, right? I don't think so. I think I need to kill Brogs. Some kind of Volf. Some other, there's some other stuff. I'll, I'll know it when I see it, I'm sure. If I see the name, I'll go, oh yeah, I gotta kill some of those. But like I said, for now, we're just exploring the far reaches of the Satoru Marsh. Hopefully I can always remember the name. I almost forgot the name of it right there. What do we got over here? Another little crevasse area. I like how the I like the smoky light effects off the water. That's actually really cool. I'm liking that. Oh, and another thing I didn't quite elaborate on that I thought was pretty funny is that this is the marsh, right? And I said that this was located on the ass of the Bionis. Isn't that kind of a funny just thing to like put together in your mind? The that the marsh is located on the Bionis ass. That's just I thought that was just a funny connection to make. And how do how do we get up here? Do we have to actually climb or do we start from the top and go down? Oh. Can we keep going up and up or is the only way to Yeah. It's looking like we have to go from the top to the bottom. Thought maybe we could go up the waterfall. I know. Always want to do things the hard way, man. Climb the waterfall from the bottom. Are you crazy, bro? Are you crazy? Yeah, I'm crazy. Crazy for Cocoa Puffs. Alright, let's finish looking this direction before I start heading off into the sunset in that direction. I see this ledge here and I want to see what's up top. Oh! Lightning ether or electric ether. I keep I keep calling it lightning ether. But it's electric. Eclectic. Let's see here. More area. There's a bridge. Alright, I kinda wanna I wanna go check up that hill over here now. I wanna see if I can get on top of that waterfall. <laughs> That waterfall has intrigued me. And this, this lighting effects in this place are freaking beautiful. The pinkish colors is just, it's beautiful. What the f Stay away from that. Level 83. Don't even look at it. If you look at it, it might attack you. Zadonia waterfall. Don't go chasing those waterfalls now. And I think where I wanted to go is actually down there. But first, we're going to get another little item that we need for a quest, I'm sure. Five lemon stones. Okay. Huh. Somebody's name just got... Just got uh, spoiled for us. Sun Zidane, or whatever the hell name that was. Whose heart heart is this? Dunban and Shulk. Nighttime. And I'm, they're not happy yet. Well, now that I got them in the party and I'm using them, their affinity will go up from time to time. Time after time. And there's a bridge over here. Oh man, I don't want to go down yet. I want to look and see what's up here. Well, well, let's see. Is there a way to get back up here from down there? Jeez, those enemies are difficult down there too. Yeah, it looks like I can get back up here from over here. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go this way yet. I'm gonna go over here because I want to get those green, those green, those blue things on the in the water over here. Yes, I'm spoiled. I can't not spoiled. That's not the word I'm looking for. Yes, I'm. Relentless. I must get all blue items. See these blue ones? I want them. Lemon stone. Sharon stone. Cute parsnip. That's a cool waterfall. Man, this... Uh, God, this, this game is never going to cease to amaze me, is it? Every place I go to, so unique, so pretty. Every single place. I have not been disappointed by by the artistic style of, of any of the areas in the game yet. They've all been beautiful in their own in their own ways. They've all been beautiful, and they've all definitely been unique. That's the best part. Uniquity is the best. It's the best. And did I mention that the song here is very soothing? I think I did when I first got here. Although now, I mean, I didn't notice this when I first got here. I just started notices, noticing this a minute ago. Is that there's actually a woman singing? Like that's part of the song. There's a woman singing. I like it. It's very soothing. Kind of makes me want to take a nap. I'm gonna pull a page from Nintendo Capri Sun, but I think I could. I think I could sleep here. I think I could. Even though it's filled with monsters, I'll just sit at the No Pond Camp and take a nap. It sounds soothing. I think I'm gonna check this side of the place now. So I pretty much checked all that side before I keep going further into this place. I want to look. On this side, 
Because I didn't really go all the way to this side. I already see a ledge that I want to go up on. Go up on. So pretty. Everything is so pretty. So pretty. This place actually reminds me of the... What place? The... It reminds me of a place in, in Final Fantasy X. Uh, what the hell is that place called? The, I think it's the Makalania Woods. Yeah, the Makalania Woods. That's what they remind me of. Yeah, these bangs were just asking for it. Sorry, I wanted to kill them, but... That, it reminds me of the Makalania Woods and the color scheme. It's kind of blue, like lots of blue. Lots of ambient little light particles floating around. Very, very similar to the Makalania Woods in Final Fantasy X. Anybody agree with me on that one? What do you guys think? Well, of course, you have, you would have had to have played Final Fantasy X to know what I'm talking about. But those of you who have played it and are watching this Let's Play, let me know what you think. How, how similar is the look of this place to Makalania Woods? I know that the, the landscape is completely different. And in Final Fantasy X, you don't get as much free roam. You can actually run and jump and change the camera and everything. So I know that there's those inherent differences. Don't get me wrong. But... Just in in art style and look overall, let me know what you think if it's close to Makalani Woods or not. That'd be an interesting comparison to make. I almost feel like playing Final Fantasy X just to go and make the comparison side by side right now. No, no. I was thinking about it right now. Hmm. Should I go back in editing and actually do that on the video? But that, nah. I'm trying to keep this this blind let's play pure in the fact that I'm in the sense that I'm just trying to show the gameplay that I do and not not chop it up very much occasionally the fast forward which you've already seen but I don't like chopping up the footage to this game since I'm playing it blind so I'd rather just show everything as the raw footage that I that I record I think it's more interesting that way I need to kill f I need to kill some more of these brogs for some some item for a quest that I haven't even I don't even have yet but I figure now, if I do it now, I won't have to come back and do it later. Why the hell not, right? One place we are kind of looking for while we're walking around here is... There was a fortress that one of the Nopon merchants wanted me to go to. That one of his friends was taken to or something. So we're going to have to somehow find a fortress around here. I don't know if that's going to be out of our way or if it's just a checkpoint through this place. I guess we'll find out as we go. So far, I don't think I've overlooked anything in the swamp. I've... I've looked pretty thoroughly, I'm pretty sure. And the only reason to kill these damn brogs is for a certain item, but they don't want to drop it. What are these? Acid upas? I'll fight anything that wants to fight that I can defeat. Stay away from the nebulas and I'll stay away from level 80 stuff. But these acid upas want to fucking fight, and then a fight they shall have. Help him. Get up, Dunban. Make yourself useful. It's nice to not be fighting Makan for a minute. Fighting those Makan can be a little uh, mentally taxing since I always have to keep my Monado activated as much as I can. Otherwise, the only person doing damage is Shulk. Although it seems like now that I got Dunban, his, one of his uh, main things is his sword will actually hurt Makan without being empowered by the Monado. So maybe that'll help me. I'll have to find out next time I actually come across some Makan. What, 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 what? Oh, 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 that's right. We have to kill some of these. These bastard ass crowbats. We have to kill some more of these. Kill them. Kill the electric boogaloo. The electric quad wing. He thought he wanted some, but then he found out he really didn't. He dropped down. I think last time we were fighting these, I had Charl out, so I didn't kick their ass quite as fast. Now that I got Dunban in the party, everything dies faster. Come on, Brog. Come on, Brog. Detox, Brog. Detox, Brog. Oh. Die, you Detox, Brog. Yes, creative name for him, I think. Oh, yeah, and one of those little bastards came to try and help him out. Bring it on, you little coppice quad crowbat wing bitch. You don't want any. I'll deal with you momentarily, bitch. You will not distract me from my current objective. Now, bring it, ho. You a stupid hoe. That's what you is. Keep attacking, Shulk. What are you doing? What, what is going on? And why am I doing the fucking sideways moonwalk and shit? I was scratching my leg for a second and Shulk was over there doing a sideways moonwalk. What the hell? Can't, can't take my eyes off of you for two seconds, Shulk. God. God. 
Now, please drop the item I want, Mr. Brog. White Brog liver. Okay, I think I need one more because I think I think the the little vision I had said I needed three of them, and that's my second one. And there's another Brog. Let's hope this Brog drops it as well, and then we can be done with the damn quest. Ooh, a landmark, the Crown Tree. Cool. We got ourselves a new new landmark we can, we can teleport to. That's that's very. Very convenient. I like new landmarks that I can teleport to. Makes going back very much easier. It really does. I'm still a little disappointed that I didn't get a chance to explore Colony 6. I mean, it's not like I didn't try, but I guess the game just says, no, nope, move on. Colony 6 is not, in, not currently in your things to do list. Now that you killed all the Macon that are occupying it, you can move on with your life and let the people from Colony 6 go back there on their own. I guess they wanted to give you time to finish off the quest you may not have done back at the call at the, uh, not the colony, but the, the, the camp, the refugee camp. I guess they wanted to make sure you had time to go back and do that if you wanted. I don't know, that's my only, that's the only thing I can come up with in my head that is the reasoning why they wouldn't let you go back to Colony 6 right away. Because as an adventurer, I want to go back there right now, but it won't let me. And I don't think the Brog dropped what I wanted. You bastard. It means we're still going to have to kill at least another one. Until they give me what I want, I'm going to keep killing them. I must get what I want, and then I will stop killing every Brog I see. And I want to get back up on that one ledge I was on. But first I want to make that ledge right there. Keep it in my eyesight. And now that it's daytime, I can see a little bit better. During the night, everything was so goddamn foggy, you couldn't even see. You couldn't even see your hand right in front of your face. Have you ever been... That's that's another good question I have for you guys out there. Have you ever been in fog so thick that you can't see more than, like, a foot in front of you? I can't say I've been in fog that thick, but I've been in... Okay, well... I've been in the dark where you can't see your hand in front of your face. Like, outside in the dark. That's fucking dark when you're outside and you can't see your hand in front of your face. That's scary. But fog? I think the thickest fog I've been in is where I was in my car and I couldn't see the car in front of me. That was pretty scary. Like, the car was maybe one car length in front of me and I couldn't see it. What is that? What is this guy? Fighter Igna? <laughs> That's a new type of enemy. It's like an iguana knight. Interesting. They kind of remind me of those one enemies from uh, what is that? Golden Axe. Golden Axe, the little fighter, uh, the little beat 'em up game from Sega Genesis. Those guys kind of remind me of the lizard enemies in that game. No. Wait, what is fighting? Oh, it's another one. I thought for a second that that Nebula was trying to fight me. Let's go ahead and fight him. I ain't scared of no Igna. I ain't scared of no Iguana. Yeah, that's... I can clearly tell that the Igna just means Iguana. Pretty much. That's where the name is derived from. From the native Iguana. From whatever country they're from. Where are Iguanas from? The Amazon? South America? Africa? Probably South America, right? Most of those tropical kind of animals are from South America. They're not from Africa. Not that there's no tropical in Africa, but most of the common stuff that like, you hear of, like iguanas, is from South America. Yeah, I'm gonna teach these ignas. Ignas, who's boss? Who is boss? And since they're human enemies, they have like weak sauce defense. They don't have built-in, built-in thick skin armor that'll keep them alive for longer. They're little thin skinned iguanas they go down real quick should they go down faster than like the bugs and shit there's a big mining deposit over there I kind of want to go suck it dry Ooh, there's a ledge here which I didn't quite mean to fall down but whatever I guess we're falling down Ooh, there's a there's a wolf over there I kind of want to kill it I'm a, I will kill it there's no kind of about it I'm wondering if it's the kind of wolf I have to kill too man. At least I didn't try to hype up that I would go further into the game in this episode, guys. I'm kind of glad I'm actually trying to accomplish some of the 
exploration I promised I would do instead of trying to just appease my appease the viewers and get further into the game when exploration is a big part of this game. This does not look like the kind of wolf I need to kill. I think the one I need to kill is called a general wolf. That was definitely not a general wolf. It was called a satoral wolf. Whatever. I'll kill him. Maybe I'll get some item for a quest that I'll need later. You never know. You never know. Killing everything does have its advantages. Plus, there's always the opportunity to level up. Never pass on that. <coughs> never want to pass on the opportunity to level up. Hell yeah. Now another one? Let's kill one more. Let's do it. One more. This is only the first group of wolves I've seen. They, they might be kind of rare in this place, so I figure I'll kill all the ones I see now. See if I can get any cool items. If I happen to start finding a bunch of them, then I'll start ignoring them. But for now, I'm just going to kill them. Ordinary hide. Hide. The word hide, just the only thing that always reminds me of is freaking that 70s show. I always thought that was a cool last name. I was like, well, I wish my last name was Hyde. Then again, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, yeah. That might, that make, that might make you rethink of wanting to be named after that. It's Hyde. That's one scary motherfucker, Mr. Hyde. His name should be Monster Hyde. That bitch is scary. Lemon Stone. Lemon Stone. Exploration. Go breathe in. Oh, poison swamp. Uh, I don't think we're gonna want to walk in that. It looks kind of purple. It looks, it looks like the poison swamp from, from uh, Majora's Mask. I definitely don't think I want to be going through that, and I'm going to avoid it. I might have to kill those poison brogs at some point, but for now, I am going to avoid the poison swamp. I think that's uh, fair. Fair enough, right? Fair enough. Fair enough. Dunban, how did you get ahead of me, you bastard? Magically climb a higher than me without even jumping and shit. Alright, let's finish looking up here on this ledge. It's got, there's bound to be something else up here that, that's worth checking out, right? More Ignis? More Ignis. More Igneous bastards. And I see his friend coming from the distance, gonna come help him. I wouldn't recommend it, Mr. Igna. I wouldn't recommend it. You're gonna regret the day you decided to come help your friend. I know you, he's your friend, and you guys won't be able to play dominoes later because you know nobody wants to play dominoes by yourself. You need at least a one person. So what are you gonna do while they're sitting around here? You can't play dominoes by yourself. I don't know what iguanas play dominoes, but it sounded like a fun game, and I almost feel like playing dominoes myself. Dominoes is fun, and if you don't want to play dominoes for reals. Then you can always just set dominoes up and knock them down. That's always fun. That's a game that never goes out of style. Ooh, don't fall in the poison swamp. It's scary. Poison is gold. The gold of poison. Don't drink it. You might get yourself killed. Wow, this this place is turning into a regular uh regular uh lost -ness -ness -ness. I'm just gonna Oh! Huh. I didn't uncover all the map back there by the camp. That's okay. Not a big deal. I will. I'll have to go back to that camp soon, so not a big deal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep going in the direction I'm going in, or I don't know. Should I stick to the other side? I feel like I should go to that side and do this side first because that's not the side that has the 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 whatever. It doesn't have the thing. I'm gonna kill this guy though, just because I feel like it. But yeah, I, I don't really want to head toward the flag in this episode. I'm just this is an all exploration episode. That's all it is. I don't want to get another cutscene in this episode. Well, I don't know. I don't know if the cutscene's gonna be like a battle or if it's just gonna be a cutscene to the next area. See that? That's what I'm gonna try to avoid. So. And now here I am heading toward that direction, which is not what I wanted. I just wanted to go up this hill. That's all I was really trying to do. I knew there'd be something up here. Some items. There's some more Ignas down here on this side. Another blue thing. Collect all blue things for now. 
Until I fill up the Collectopedia, all blue things must be collected. And there's also quests everywhere that might require me to collect certain blue items in this area. In fact, there already is because I already saw at least two quests pop up as future quests. But before I get too far to the east side of this place, I want to head to the west side. Why are you not attacking? Fucking Shulk, man. He's always, he's always naysaying everything I try to do. He's always like, I don't want to attack that guy. I'm just going to stand right in front of him and not do anything. I'm just going to watch Dunban and Sh Ryan do all the work. Because you're just an asshole like that, aren't you, Shulk? Aren't you? I wasn't even that far. That shouldn't have hurt me. Looks like I could jump down there and fight the poison brog, but then I won't be able to get back out. That's not what I want. Screw that. I don't want to fuck with the poison. There's probably going to be a quest that requires me to kill poison brogs or go to the poison swamp and get something. It's just nice to have it on the map so I know where it at. Know where it as. Know where it as. Let's go ahead and explore this side. I've been kind of avoiding, not avoiding, but ignoring this side. Not really on purpose. It just happened incidentally. And this is going to be weird if I don't get a level up from fighting all these damn monsters I've been fighting. Because I've pretty much gone up to a level in just about every episode at least once. And as much fighting as I've done in this episode, I haven't gone up a level yet, I don't believe. I'm pretty sure I ended last episode on level 28. So, it wouldn't be right to be done with an episode and not get a level up. It just wouldn't be right. I think the biggest problem is, is I'm just not having any quests. I don't have a lot of quests to do right now. There are a few quests I could go back and do, but it's not appealing right now. Not appealing. Uh, just trying to finish exploring and exploring and exploring and exploring and exploring and exploring. Hoping that I don't run into anything that's going to kick my ass too bad. That's one thing that this place is lacking so far is a giant monkey. I half expect to run into a giant monkey again. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be a giant monkey, but some sort of just giant humongous enemy that wants to fight. I half expect to run into something like that at, in this place at some point and kill this wolf just because he just because he looks like if I don't kill him he'll 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 prey upon somebody else. We don't want that to happen. I can see this we don't want him to prey upon somebody else that is our friend. Let's stay focused. Get rid of that asshole. Ooh, what's back here? This place looks secret. Anything cool back here? We got a venom platypus. That sounds kind of scary. Ugh, more poison swamp. Is there going to be a way to, like, purify this bitch? Oh, this isn't the poison swamp. This is the dog swamp. Ah, ah. Cop is quad wing. Fuck yo shit. And I see a red mark on the map. Damn it. And it looks like it's on the other side of the swamp. Is it really that bad to go into the swamp? I wonder. I wonder if it just thwarts you by calling it poison. But it doesn't actually do anything that bad. I am tempted to at least try it once. Just to see what happens. You know, it's like touching the burning stove. You won't know until you try, right? You don't know it's hot until you touch it. So let's see what happens. Uh, oh, okay. That's actually not that bad. 100 damage at a time is actually not that bad. Because once I get out, well, except for the fact that I'm fighting, but now once I get out of the swamp, the poison stops. So that's actually not too bad. I was worried that it was going to be like just constant life drainage that just is like, you know, it just constantly drains you at a constant rate and and it's so ridiculous that you would never want to go in. But that actually wasn't too bad. Which means I'm going to get that quest item. Right now. I vow it. That quest item will be mine. It will be mine. Poison Brog, you will fall before me. And that quest item then shall be mine. So I'm going to head straight for it. After my HP fills up, of course. Hopefully nothing else attacks me so I can get my HP back. Not bad at all. Alright, so the item is... Where is it? Wait, is the item up there? How do I get up there? I guess I gotta go all the way across. I wanna know what's over here. I mostly just want that quest item, but it doesn't look like it's down here. It looks like it's up on a ledge. Let's just 
just hurry up and get out of the fucking swamp. Alright, we're good. Oh, I see. There's a way to climb up over there. Let's let's deal with this poison brog. And this episode's not going to end until I get that item in my clutcher. That will be where this episode ends. I'm kind of contemplating whether or not I want to fast forward through anything that I've done in this episode. I don't think so. This place has been too pretty to, to skip over anything. I'm just going to leave it as is. I mean, the first episode for this weekend was pretty long in and of itself, so having another long one won't hurt anything. And I don't expect this to go like another 10 minutes. It's probably just going to be an extra couple minutes. Just an extra couple minutes. No big deal. No big deal. That was a close one. Potent Prog Poison. Ooh, that sounds scary. Oh, here's another quest item I just got. No, wait. Wait, I thought that was red. That was red, right? The thing I just picked up? Looked red. Let's see if there's a ledge over here. I don't see a ledge over here either. That's not cool. Let's get some large earth crystals real quick. We're actually on top of the crystals. That's crazy. Okay. Can we not get up? Oh, what? We can't get up there? How the fuck are you supposed to get up there? You can't taunt me with a red thing on the map and then not let me get up there? How does... How, how does this game sleep at night? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Well, I guess I'll just conclude the episode right here. So, yeah, this is actually a pretty cool view with the poison water and cool light effects. Yeah, I like this. All right, so this is where we will conclude today's episode. And next week, yep, that's going to be all. Actually, never mind. Ignore what I just said about next week. Next time, see you guys on Xenoblade Chronicles, and we'll finish exploring this place. See you then. Peace.